Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I have the false Epperer. Yes, he is called the false Epperer, but obviously he is Starscream. He is the evil energy FG04 from Defer Nation. But he's a very cool looking knockoff. The box looks good. Now the box is a little beat up. I got this from AliExpress. I like getting things in the box because if something happens, if the package gets a little squeezed, then it doesn't really damage the figure inside. So there, there are some dents on here, but it shows him in warrior mode. It actually shows him as King Starscream. And let's take this sucker out and see if he's cool enough for your collection. Be right back. So let's grab out the false Epperer. And first of all, you can see he's got some accessories. So he's got a cape and it's actually cloth. Now, the nice thing about this is a lot of the versions of Starscream that come with capes, they're plastic and you kind of got to stick them on and they don't always work the best. And in some cases you have to kind of plug them into the back of a chair when he's sitting down. This is cloth, so it's very cool. Now, in addition to this wonderful cloth, he comes with a ton of accessories. It's like a whole huge bag full. I'm just gonna dump them out here. He's got the shoulder pieces for when he is King Starscream. He's got his regular guns, null rays. He's got two missiles for plane mode. He's got a little Megatron, which is weird for him to hold when he's the king. He's got some blast effects. So I think these are for his jets. These are for his guns. He's got two itty bitty, itty bitty posts and we'll go into what those are for later. And he's got multiple hands. He's got the finger of doom and the palm of uh, smacking. He's got a piece for his stand in case you wanna have him flying and a crown. So lots of accessories. But well, let's take a look at the bot himself. There he is in his plastic packaging and he's got the nice little stand in case you wanna put that together and have him float. We might do that later, who knows? And then there's the figure himself, a very gray version of Starscream. It's got the nice orange cockpit, the blue forearms, the wings, of course, and very sturdy legs. So as far as posability, his head can turn, his arms can go in all kinds of directions. You can swivel the forearms. So you gotta be careful. Part of the transformation splits his forearms, so when you're turning it, you don't wanna actually split them. The hands, since they come out, also swivel. Bends at the elbows, the shoulders move in a variety of directions. He can kind of shrug. And let's put on his standard weapons onto his shoulders. Though he can hold them in his hand as well. So shoulder or hand, you can have the weapons wherever you'd like. I like the classic shoulders, so that's what we're gonna go with. He does twist somewhat at the waist. Now there is a piece in the back that keeps it from twisting all the way, but still he can twist somewhat. He can do a full toes up a Jean-Claude Van Damme. He bends at the knee. His feet actually have the ankle swivel, which is in a lot of Hasbro toys. So you can set him up in a very dynamic pose. Oops, his hand came out, but pops right back in. And obviously you can swap out the hands. So very dynamic as far as posability. His legs are also able to twist so he can kind of stand with his leg off to the side if he wanted to. I don't know why he'd want to, but you know, he could. And the back does not look too kibbly. Legs are pretty solid. He does have these things that come down from his wings, which are actually part of his transformation. But overall, he's a very solid version of Starscream. Obviously no Decepticon symbols because he's not an official toy. I'm gonna to show you the vehicle mode and then we're gonna put him back in a robot mode so he can be the king. So first we're just gonna pop off his guns and then we'll go ahead and transform him. Now one thing I will say with his transformation, do not try to transform him while using the other alternate hands. Will not work. So there he is in his jet mode. I do have to say that the transformation is pretty complex for such a small transformer. I will show you scaling, don't worry. Now obviously his nose cone is not the same blue as the original transformer, but he's got the nice blue tail fins and these sub, I have no idea what they're called. I'm not an aviator, 
a, a very solid jet. Everything kind of pops into place. He doesn't have a ton of kibble on the bottom. You can't see his face. His head is right there, but it's kind of hidden. The tail fins are a little loose and they fold quite a bit because actually the tail fins totally fold up and go inside his legs. So he doesn't have them sticking out the side of his leg. So a very nice jet. I put the missiles on the bottom instead of the regular guns. Though if you really want to arm him, you can take the regular guns and you still have access to the holes that you use on his shoulders. So he is very well armed. Just be careful of the tail fins. They do have a tendency to fold pretty easily. But overall, he's pretty solid. The transformation is very clever. So I'm happy overall with this figure as both Starscream and the Evil Energy Jet. And you can take the little mounting piece when he's in jet mode, pop it in the bottom, a little tight. You really have to put a lot of pressure to squeeze that in. And even then it's not exactly as good as it could be. Almost seem to use pliers, but there he is. Oh, see, putting it on before you plug it in might help. There you go. So there he is on his stand. So you can have him flying into battle on his stand. Not the best stand, but I didn't get it for the stand anyway. All right. So as I said, the transformation is very clever. The nose cone actually splits. It really hides a lot of the stuff. Well, let's put him back into his robot mode and deck him out as King Starscream or the false Emperor. What's interesting with the transformation is these are all on swivels and you have to kind of swivel the whole thing around with this little plate here to set it up so you can actually fold the wings into his legs or the fins. When you're done, you've swapped it around and it's pretty flat here and everything folds up inside. So again, a very clever transformation, especially considering size. I couldn't see Hasbro necessarily going to this amount of detail just because it's a pain in the ass. And they do make their toys for kids. And as I mentioned, the nose cone actually splits and part of the nose cone actually opens up to form his chest. And this piece can sometimes pop off, but luckily it pops right back on. Now, one thing that's interesting about his arms is they're kind of double jointed because he's got the elbows here, but he's also got a joint here. So you can bend his elbows kind of like short or long, but again, super poseable. But now let's coronate Starscream. Now, unlike the coronation Starscream from the studio series, you can have his regular guns on his arms when you put on his shoulder pieces, which have the gold stripe in front, so you know which way to put them on. And they just kind of pop in, a little flexible. And so there he is with his arm thingies, his shoulder things. Now the cape I'll put on next. Now the interesting thing is the little holes on the back of the wings where you can actually put the weapons in when he's in vehicle mode are for these little itty bitty tabs. So you push through the cloth cape and push it into that little hole there. So the bad part about this design is these little things are very small, so easy to lose. And when you flip back down these parts of the wings, you can see they don't quite go down flush because of the cape, but it looks great from the front. He's got a very nice cloth cape. And finally, the crown. And that just pops right onto his head. No muss, no fuss. And we have King Starscream, who is now holding Megatron which is very odd. And of course you can swap out his hands so he can be pointing the finger of doom and also saying, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You Megatron? You Megatron, bro? I don't need a hint. I need a yes or a no. So the only thing that this guy doesn't have other than size is as you can see next to the Hasbro Coronation Starscream, he's a bit smaller and he doesn't come with a throne. And the way his legs are, he can't really sit in it that well either, but that's kind of par for the course with Starscream. Who designed this throne? It's too big! That's what she said. So overall, a very cool version of Starscream in his coronated form, or you could dispense with that, and he's just a cool version of Starscream. As I said, very clever transformation, very poseable, you know, a little complex, but you can impress your friends or not. So this is actually by Jinbio, Jinbio, however they're saying it. And he was like $17. 
and 46 cents. 1746 plus shipping, it's like 21 bucks. So for the price, I think it's cool. You get a nice cloth cape. You get all these accessories. I didn't even show you how you can stick these into his jet so he's hovering. Not too thrilled with these. These are, I guess, supposed to go on the end of his guns, but they don't really stay very well. So these blast effects, unless I'm totally misreading what they're supposed to do. I mean, some of the promotional pictures show these being used as blast effects, but I wouldn't use them. Cool figure. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to this guy on AliExpress again, like after shipping like 21 bucks. Not bad for, I'll be a robot master size version of Starscream, but with a lot of accessories and in scale better with Combiner Wars Bruticus. Could probably stand on his shoulder or he could use a Legends one, but you know, that's totally up to you. So while you're deciding on whether or not you want to get some of the evil energy of this Decepticon Monarch, you can check out another video over here where we actually talk about the actual Coronation Starscream from Hasbro. You can subscribe if you'd like, like, share, all the stuff. A super thanks. If you really like this video, would be much appreciated. We'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.